Today, I will tell you about the working principle of the AC induction motor. The AC induction motor includes a stator with three phase windings and a rotor. Today, the squirrel cage rotor is used as an example to introduce its working principle. When a magnetic field moves across a closed coil, a current is induced inside the coil, as shown in the video. According to Lenz's law, a coil moving away from a magnetic field produces a current in a different direction than a coil approaching it. Through the left-hand rule, we know that a conductor passing current will experience an ampere force in a magnetic field. The force on the conductor in the video is in the same direction as the magnetic field moves. Thus, the conductor moves with the magnetic field. When the intermediate conductor is bent, a squirrel cage rotor is formed. When the moving magnetic field is replaced by a rotating magnetic field, the prototype of the AC induction motor is formed. The rotating magnetic field is generated by a three-phase winding. Suppose there is a stator with six pairs of windings, a total of 12 magnetic poles. The magnetic poles are in the stator, and the four windings of the same color are connected in series. We call the blue phase U and the yellow phase V. Green is the W phase. The coils adopt the same direction of rotation, so that the positive half cycle on the signal produces N poles and S poles as shown in the video. The strength of the magnetic field generated by the winding varies with the signal voltage. When the signal is in the negative half cycle, the positions of the N pole and the S pole have changed. When all the three phase windings are energized, at phase zero, the W phase and the V phase generate magnetic fields of the same magnitude. As time changes, the U phase current reaches the maximum, and the W phase and V phase generate slightly smaller currents. Since the lines of magnetic force cannot intersect, the magnetic field after the synthesis of the three magnetic fields is shown in the video. The magnetic field effect produced by the three pairs of magnetic poles we just introduced will also produce the same effect as the other three pairs of magnetic fields, thus forming a continuous rotating magnetic field. Alright, that's all for today.